Hey guys, welcome to the Hyperlink where we cover the latest Star Citizen news as they drop. Today, the Great Cat STB got released actual live right now in game, purchasable in game. Well, not purchasable in game, but purchasable on the pledge store right now. And I'm excited to finally get to look at it. Uh, they did not indicate that they were going to come up with a ship, uh, a vehicle like this, but uh, I'm glad that they did because I love the design of this ship. Right, so let's look into the, some of the details within this new um, vehicle. Sorry, I said ship before, but this is uh, this is a, ve a ground vehicle, as you can see. All right, so, so the Grey Cat um, STV, the sports terrain vehicle. STV is here, a Grey Cat vehicle built by pros for pros that takes the industry proven usability of Grey Cat and opens the door to adventure. Work for work or Work or play, travel the toughest terrain with the freedom to follow your path. Climb in and get comfortable. This is your time to enjoy. So this, it, it looks really, really good. So some of the features that they mentioned is its speed. Um, so they mentioned that it's pretty fast. It's actually faster than the Cyclone, uh, the, the racing variant of the Cyclone. So that's pretty good, you know. Um, so the Great Cat STV, uh, the STV is Great Cat's fastest ever vehicle. Its acceleration and top speed are best in class. All right. So the next feature is the storage capacity. This is one of the things that allows this thing to shine. Um, in my opinion, I like the fact that the cargo itself can fold into the, the vehicle itself and uh, it keeps its sleekness. And I think it's really, really cool to be able to put um, boxes that you could find in and store it on it i hope that there is actual internal cargo as well that way if you're doing bunkers or you're looting you also have some extra space on the inter interior of the ship to actually store as well all right so um safety so an integrated roll cage uh spare spare tire ensure the scv keeps moving if your world turns upside down so that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I'm not sure if there'll be a mechanic where you'll need to replace a tire, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it so far. Some of the, I mean, like, I'm not going to lie. The image, the design of this, this vehicle is just, is beautiful, man. They need to, Grey Cat needs to come up with ships. If they come up with Grey Cat ships with this design language, I'm going to get those ships, man. This, this is like part of par with, crusader design language I, I really like it all right beautiful i love the the headlights of this man the design is just perfect it's perfect well done well done love it man what what makes this special what makes this special is the fact that a small vehicle like this like like they showed in in some of the screenshots here you could put this in a nomad and still have space for cargo you can put this in the cutlass and have space for cargo you know so i think with the new crusader spirit coming i think this goes very well with the actual spirit c1 the c1 spirit itself where it's a utility vehicle where it has a tractor beam so there's some utility functions with that you have your gray cat in it um as well and uh, you have space to put probably may put probably can put multiple um stvs in here and you still have space to be able to do things and and, and you know but the fact that it's a general purpose ship is is makes it perfect right to have the, the stv and this as a combination early in the game this is perfect you can go into deep space you can go into pyro you can have your rover and the utility of this vehicle is perfect so i think it's a great combination all right so now with this um so let's play this two seater as we all know a gun rack this is impressive i like that that's cool that they have a gun rack on both sides actually design is just look at that it's beautiful man damn look at that design i love the headlights man Look at that. This is what I like. The fact that you can put the store of cargo on the inside. The boxes that you find. Yeah, so I think that's it. All right. So this is uh, some of the technical details. It's 4.2 meters in length. Uh, 
2.8 uh, in width and the height is two meters. Crew size of two, uh, two hand boxes for storage. So I don't think, maybe it doesn't have internal storage. That would suck. And it's uh, max speed is 40 meters per second. So I think they have different paints for it as well. Back be standard. Cobalt, oh, this is nice, They're all black. Cobalt gray, that's, that's not bad. Electric green. And then blue steel. This is also nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, so right now it's available um, to purchase from uh, the store. From the store itself, a standalone, as a standalone ship, $35 USD. Uh, War Bond, um, I think. So this is, oh, plus the paint. So you got this one for plus the paint. And then this one is... Um, the standalone regular one without the paint. I don't know why they're the same price. Oh, this is for oh, this is for concierge. So you get an extra paint for free. And then for store credit, you can get it for forty dollars US. And then there's some packages for it where you could get it with the freelancer. I think it would have been a great opportunity if they released the um, Spirit series. I think they would have paired it up with the Spirit. And I think it would have been a great deal to get a package with the Spirit. But freelancer, you can't go wrong. War bond, 125, 140 in store credit. And uh, the paints are also available individually or as a package. So let me know your thoughts. Are you going to get this uh, Great Cat STD? Let me know in the comments. But let me know your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. I will see you on the next one.